Today I want to show you how to transform this a little bit boring photo of a bottle on a white background into this a lot more interesting photo. So let's start. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. Let's jump straight into Photoshop and let's have fun. As you can see here we have this bottle on a white background and if you look here on the right side to the layer palette you see that I already did something. I already extracted this bottle out of the background because I don't want you to watch me do this slow and boring process. Actually this extraction of the bottle is it was really fast with just the magic wand tool and just click on white background and that's it. And the second thing what I did, I extracted this sticker because I will need it later, you will see. I used the pen tool to trace the shape of the sticker and just extract it like that. But for this tutorial I will not do that separately. All right. What I want to do first here with the, this photo, I want to make the background dark, black. And then I want to paint the light onto that background to have the impression that we did that in the studio, something like so. All right, let's first delete this background layer because I don't need them. And then I will use a solid color layer and make it black, put it all the way down below and let's name this BG for a background. Okay, the next step will be to crop this a little bit. Let's use a crop tool, make it a little bit tighter like so and a little bit higher. Something, something like so. All right, we will see later if we need to adjust that. All right, let's now make a new layer and we will paint the light on that layer. First, let's name this layer light one. We will have a lot of this layer uh, light, named lights, lights one, two, three, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And the first light will be here down below, circular shape, like I had a light at the top of this bottle. Okay, let's use a gradient tool for that and let's use the second gradient here. Uh, this uh, color to transparent, any color we have here will be uh, first color and then go to transparent. And we will use Alter Option key to choose this color from the bottle, something like so. And just make a gradient. Yeah. First choose the circular gradient here, not this linear, but circular. And just make gradient something like so. You can make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, that's perfect. And then while this layer is active, just press Control Command T and with hold by holding Alter Option key, just transform it, bring it down below and just try to match the perspective of this bottle, something, something like so and make it even wider. And when we're finished, press enter or this check mark here, anything you want. And I want to nudge it a little bit like so. Maybe, maybe to make it a little bit higher, something like so. It's okay. Then make a new layer and again name it light, but number two. Now I will use the white color and again use the gradient tool just to make another circular gradient but white one and control command t again the same procedure just put it here make it a little bit smaller than the previous one that's something like like so that's nice and now just put this light number two into overlay blending mode and we will have a little bit brighter and saturated color okay this is really good. And we can make another one, light number three. Number three, okay. And use again the white color, make gradient. If you want, you can do that. If you don't want, you can leave it like this. But I want to make this center even brighter. Something like so will be nice. Okay, let's leave this for now like this. And make a new layer and name light bg for a background number one again use uh, this color from the bottle sample it by holding alter option key on the keyboard and with a gradient circular radial gradient just make something like so but let me see yeah control command t make it a little bit higher a little bit wider not so much 
something like so. And you can always change this and reposition wherever you want to be. All right, let's leave it like this for now. And let's make a new layer. And again, name it light BG number two. And again, use the white. It's the same procedure like before. White color, make gradient, make it smaller like so. It's okay. Then put it in overlay and that's really nice. We can duplicate this and put it in normal blending mode and make it a lot smaller like here and then we can even lower the opacity something like so. All right what I want to do now it's to select all these lights layers and press ctrl command g and uh, group it name it lights like so great and let's see before and after before and after it it's it, it, it is much better now maybe to to change the shape of this but we will deal with it later we will see now the second step will be to add the reflection of this bottle down below for that I will duplicate this bottle layer. You can just press Ctrl Command J or just move it here to the new layer and just release it. Okay, put it down below and let's name this bottle re Reflection. Oops. Like so. Okay, press Ctrl Command T to enter the free transform mode and see this anchor point here. This is rotation point. But, and just just put it down below all the way down and now when you press right click and flip vertical it will flip around this point so that's good and now we need to transform this bottle this uh, down part of the bottle to match this curve here how to do that pretty easy actually just press again Control command t enter the free transform mode and right click go to the warp tool and now we need to play with these corners and these handles you will see to move this a little bit down and this a little bit down and then just play play with that until you're satisfied with with results it doesn't need to be so perfect you will see why again control command t to go back to the free transform mode then again right click warp tool because this part actually will not be so visible but if you need it to be visible just to know how to do that all right when we are finished just press ok and now we have reflection this reflection will be actually down below the lights here and we will make a mask to mask this upper part of reflection and this down part below again we will use the gradient tool but this time we will use a linear gradient tool the first option here and just make something like so that's much better let me see it's too much uh, again it's too much something like so and even we can do that from the top here just to cover that okay for now that's perfect then let's deal with the bottle here let's a little bit dodge and burn this bottle as you know my favorite method of dodging and burning is with curves if you didn't uh, watch my tutorial about dodge and burn or you don't know how to dodge and burn please watch this video here on this info card here's the link all right and let's go back to the photo let's use the curve for dodge make it bright like so then invert this and copy it for a burn something like so and let's name this d for dodge and b for burn great and clip it to this bottle because we want to affect only the bottle here okay what i want to do now is let's make first another layer here just normal layer and name it light light because i want to paint paint with white color i will use i will use brush very very soft brush like so okay and i will use maybe 10 percent opacity and i want to paint here i want to paint on this edge here 
to better blend this bottom of the bottle with these lights down below right something like so then when i did this i will use the dodge tool and then make make this of course i need to paint with white make these edges a little bit brighter especially this upper part here okay I like to use a smaller percentage brush and then just build it with that rather than use 20, 40 or 50 percent and make one bright line because it's not so subtle result, it's not so nice, but this is a little bit better. Okay, and just paint like so and add light on the parts that you want to be brighter. Okay, like so. And then we can go here to the burn uh, curves and burn parts that we want to be darker, make a little bit contrast here, like so. Because we have separate sticker here, we will not affect the sticker right now. Okay, something, something like so will be, let's use 5% even. Like so, and that's nice, let's see, okay, let's zoom it, and a little bit. let's see before and after, before and after, before and after, of course, you can uh, dodge and burn as much as you find uh, good for, for your taste, and then what you can do, you can make another layer here, name it uh, maybe stamp, because you can use the stamp tool, I will not do that now, but just uh, for your for your information, uh, you can use the stamp, stamp uh, tool and just get rid of all these things, or healing brush, maybe it's better, and just rid of all these reflections that are not so interesting, oops, here in a photo. Okay, and you need to be careful with this and have patience and time to, to do this really good. But just to let you know that you can actually do this too. Okay, and if you use a stamp tool and maybe 10% or even 20% opacity, really, really soft stamp tool, you can do something like this or 10% opacity and just paint like so, etc, etc. And let me see, let's zoom it. It's a little bit dirty, but just to see that you can do that. You can even go here with this blur tool and blur this a little bit to make it a little bit more clean, something like so, or even go here to the bottle end blur this part if you if you want okay where is the stamp yeah this is the stamp but if you don't want to do that you can skip skip this step but this is before and after before and after of course you can clean all of these uh, these reflections here etc etc all right but the next step will be to go to the sticker here and let's use the curve adjustment player, make it a lot brighter. Just watch the sticker here and clip it, of course, because you want to affect only the sticker. Something like so. And then with Control Command E, just invert the mask. And what I want to do now, I want to make this part of this sticker brighter. We can use few options. We can use again gradient tool. Of course, we need white and we will use this uh, reflected gradient and just paint light like so. That's one method. I will show you another one just if you want to change the shape of this uh, uh, this light that uh, are casting on this sticker. Okay, the second method is just to use a pen tool and make a shape of light that you want to be here on this, on this sticker. Something like so maybe and then press Control command enter and just fill this with white with alter option 
key and backspace like so and of course you can blur, the, blur this by going to filter blur gas and blur and blur this uh, mask or just go here double click on the mask and feather it as much as you want something like so it's nice you can always go and press ctrl command t on the mask and make it smaller or bigger etc etc or you can move this somewhere like this okay and let's zoom it and maybe maybe to lower this brightness something like like so okay guys and now we will deal with this bottle reflection here why i want to do that let's go here to the bottle reflection now it looks like this surface it's really really polished glass but i want to make impression that this bottle it's on some plastic surface or so something like that and how to make that impression just blur just blur this bottle reflection go to the filter blur gaussian blur and just blur i don't know you can choose less or more more blur depends of what kind of surface you want to make i will use something like so and let's unzoom it let me see this is really nice now we can play with the crop tool we can crop it even more to have a lot tighter image something like so and even like so and let me see wait for it and that's it nice let me show you before and after but i need to make before and after let's duplicate this go up here like so and put the white background okay let's make this this is before it's not so interesting photo and this is after a lot lot more interesting photo of course you can now play with the colors of this light saturation etc etc how to do that let's group all of this together first this will be all this all will be a bottle okay we have lights and we have this before photo if we go here to the lights group and add hue and saturation adjustment player clip it to that we can change the light of this this uh, background and down below of course if you change this to be a red then you need to change the tint a little bit on the bottle because it's a little bit fake now but it's interesting now you can have fun with this you can even uh, desaturate a little bit like so and make it lighter maybe maybe you want something like so or like so or even more saturated i don't know but the point here is that you can play a lot with with these lights all right guys that's it for today i hope that you like this tutorial and that you understand the method here how you can transform this little bit boring photo of a bottle on a white background or some other object on white or any other color background into a little bit more interesting and fun photo if you have any question at all please ask them in the comment below i will be glad to answer them see you next week in the next fun episode bye bye just a quick tip for you guys, you can make this photo even more fun and interesting by adding a water splash on the bottle. You can find a lot of splashes for free online or you can make a photo of your own splashes. Have fun experiment and see you next week in the next fun episode. Bye bye.